country. Some people dedicate their lives to a career in the military, but that isn't for everyone. And in some cases, those veterans go on to support the armed forces in a unique way. At 26 years old, Austin Hardis has seen and done a lot. He spent four years in the Marine Corps, went on two infantry tours, and is a husband and father. It all started with a plan he formed while growing up in Chrisman. My dad was uh, in the Navy. Uh, he was active for four years. He stayed in the reserves for uh, almost 20 years. I wanted to follow in his footsteps, join the military. Hardis joined the Marine Corps after high school in 2012. He then went to Afghanistan. We were basically doing local security patrols and working with the Afghan National Army, uh, basically just provide security at a nearby village, uh, like try to help them take over our efforts in like keeping the Taliban at tabs and uh, you know, decreasing their area of operation. When Hardis got back, he got married. Then he started another tour in Iraq, this one more dangerous than the first. We were providing security for um, a specific unit that was training the local nationals to go fight ISIS. Um, due to the political environment, uh, we were not allowed to leave the, the wire, uh, like the base whatsoever. We were getting mortared a lot, so we like we would be standing on post um, or training the local nationals, and we'd have incoming rounds. And He was in a tough spot, not only physically, but mentally, knowing his wife was at home about to give birth to their first child. Like, if I die, it's not just me. Like, I got a wife, a baby that is going to be here soon. When his son was born, everything changed. Until then, Hardis had planned to spend his career in the military, but that didn't seem feasible anymore. And I was like, you know what? I don't think this is a, like, like more power to all the people who have a family and do 20 years, but not me. <laughs> like, I, I couldn't do it um, mentally. Couldn't, couldn't put my family through that. Being a part of an infantry unit, you come home, do a 12 month training cycle, get deployed for six to nine months, and then just over and over. 12 month training cycle, gone again for six to nine months. It's like, I don't want to be out of my kids' lives, like, you know, 45% of the time. Hardis decided to come home. He earned an accounting degree at the U of I, and with help from the Chess Veterans Center on campus, landed a job at Boeing. He wanted to work for a company that supports the military. I actually help. Um, engineers or program managers schedule the production um, of various aircraft or modifications to aircraft. It brings me joy to know that my efforts are helping the people that are in Afghanistan or Iraq right now. Hardis has good memories of his time serving. He had some pushback when he first joined from people who thought he should go straight from high school to college, but he wouldn't change anything. It was just too good of an opportunity to pass up, and I knew I'd regret it for the rest of my life if I never did it. Don't listen to the people who say the military 100% isn't for you, kid. Um, I mean, there's a job in the military for everybody. Hardis knows the path he took could be the right one for someone else, and that's why he'll keep sharing his story and the plan that led him to where he is today. For Veterans Voices, I'm Jessica Coons. Hardis recently relocated for his job. He will soon be starting in Boeing's Business Career Foundation program. One sailor also found a future after leaving the Navy. She felt there was a specific need.